I'm Keith Mitchell, and let's talk Destiny 2. Let's talk about a source of contention for a large majority of Destiny 2 fans, and that is the Destiny 2 Content Vault. So yesterday, Bungie gave their big live stream on the future of Destiny 2. We got some information regarding three upcoming expansions, the first one being Beyond Light, which comes out September 2020. We've got The Witch Queen in 2021, and we've got Destiny 2 Lightfall in 2022. On top of that, when the first new expansion comes out, which again is Beyond Light, it's introduced to Destiny 2, there's going to be a lot of changes to the game. First and foremost, there are some content that's going to be removed in IO, Mars, Mercury, Titan, and Leviathan Raid are all going to go away. Now, they're being put into what's called the Destiny Content Vault, or DCV as I like to call it. And what's going to happen is these raids or or planets or whatever whatever bungee decides to put into this vault they're going to go away for a while and it basically means that you won't be able to access this until or when bungee decides to implement this like through special events or something to i don't know it's up to bungee they haven't really said what exactly the criteria is going to be but basically when the new expansion comes everything that i mentioned is going away now Replacing it's going to be the Dreaming City, which is already there, the brand, brand new moon, Europa, Cosmodrome from Destiny 1, which I can't wait, the tower obviously still going to be there, Tangled Shores, Nexus, uh, and the moon. All of them are going to be there on top of the new content that we'll see within upcoming expansions. But that also means as we go through new seasons and new expansions that they'll take other older content and place it inside the DCV. Now, this has got a lot of people frustrated, and we talked about this in our own Discord channel where half of us were split about this being a good idea, and others were split saying that it kind of ruins the experience. And I understand both sides of the argument, so this is where I am right now. This is how I feel about the DCV. Now, when I originally heard this, I thought they were going to implement this a different way, and I really think the way that I'm about to say is how they should have implemented this, but before I do that, I will say that I firmly believe that this change is being driven by consoles. Now, before you jump down my throat, hear me out. Yes, you can upgrade your PlayStation 4 hard drive. Yes, you can get an external hard drive. But one, external hard drives are slower than what's inside your Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Not to mention the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, which are going to be released this shopping holiday which all of us would like to get our hands on, they will be rocking brand new, super fast solid state drives, or so they say. And it's gonna change the game on how games are played on console as far as loading. But that also means that these solid state drives, they have to be big and even still, they're gonna be limited in space. We don't know how big the Xbox Series X hard drive is gonna be. We don't know how big the PlayStation 5 hard drive is gonna be. So you gotta wonder, if Bungie has been talking to both Sony and both Microsoft and they're like, look, hey, these drives are not gonna be super huge. We don't have a way to upgrade them. We do know Xbox Series X will allow you to use one terabyte expansion cards, but those things are probably gonna be arm and leg. I mean, you guys remember how much the memory cards for the PlayStation Vita were. They were super expensive. They're still super expensive if you're trying to get one if you happen to own a Vita all 10 of you out there, including myself. But let's get back on track. So as I said, I think this is being pushed by consoles because it's not a big issue with the PC. Yes, the PC also has smaller hard drives, but the PC, all you gotta do is buy the other hard drive, toss it in your machine as a secondary drive, or maybe your main drive, and you're good to go. Uh, most people don't use an external drive for games, but some people do. Some people do because they can use a Thunderbolt attachment or, uh, or a USB 3 type attachment. And that's much faster than what we have out there right now on the consoles. You're probably saying, Keith, that doesn't make any sense. But there's always a happy medium when it comes to hard drives and computer. I could buy a 2 terabyte solid state drive and be set. I mean, I do have a 2 uh, terabyte drive on my computer and I am set. All my games that I need to load fast are on that drive. All my secondary games that I don't care how fast they load are on my uh, 8 terabyte drive. But that's neither here or there. Let's talk about DCV. So what I thought Destiny 2 should implement or Bungie should implement Destiny 2 is not forcing us to give up this content, but to give us the ability to load certain things. So for example, Titan's going away. Now say you love Titan. I, I don't know why you would love Titan, but say you love Titan. Say you have an affinity for Titan. 
okay so when you have you should be have an option in destiny 2 that says hey these are the content that you can either remove or add obviously there's some kind of criteria where if it's something that's needed like for a season or for an expansion you can't remove it but say you wanted to reinstall titan okay you click titan destiny 2 says okay i'm gonna quit i'm gonna install this and then i'm gonna start right back up that's how i felt they should have did that the problem that i have right now is they're literally forcing you to get rid of this content and if there's quests to get exotic weapons they're saying that they'll have a way to get those but in the interim if they go away and you're still working on the quest line and you need to go to mars or mercury or titan or io that's out the window you simply won't be able to do it anymore and it's this that has fans upset and i gotta say i agree with them i really do agree with them with the with the consumers with the fans I don't, I'm not taking Bungie's stance because the more I think about this, it should have been an option to do so. We should have had the ability to say, hey, I want to take this module or this section or, or this planet and uninstall it when I don't want it or install it when I do want it. Again, given that it's not required for a season or an expansion. What Bungie is doing is effectively taking the decision out of our hands. And it's one that I don't agree with. And if you look at Reddit, if you look at Twitter, if you look at various places on the internet, people are saying the same thing. They are not happy that Bungie has decided to make the ultimate decision for them. Now, yes, okay, IO is not a big deal. None of these are a big deal. I mean, the only people that want to go back to the Leviathan are for those who love that raid or for those who've never experienced that raid, like myself. I've never done Leviathan. I've done no Destiny 2 content. And yes, I feel bad. You don't need to make me feel any worse. Thank you but I don't really have a need to go back to Leviathan. So I understand where Bungie's coming from. I understand that they're saying the game is getting huge, but at the same time, I go back and I look at World of Warcraft from the PC or Final Fantasy XIV or Rem Reborn. Both of those are sitting at 100 plus gigs right now. Gears of War 4, Red Dead Redemption 2, those are also pretty huge games. So there are games out there right now that are hitting or surpass 70 gigs. There are games out there right now that are hitting or surpassing 100 gigs. So, which is why I don't think this decision was made with the PC in mind and more so again with consoles in mind. Now, again, you could say, Keith, I'm completely wrong. I would love to talk to Bungie about that, but I really do think the consoles are pushing this narrative. That said, I'm not really a big fan of this. Again, I think my idea of installing modules let me install the locations or the raids that I want to access on any given basis versus Bungie telling me that I can't have this at any given time. Now, don't get me wrong. I probably would not have minded as much if they actually had a plan in place and let us know what they plan on doing in the future. But saying, hey, we might bring back this content at a given date, we're not sure right now, doesn't really instill much confidence. Yes, as a company, I trust Bungie. Yes, I've given them a lot of flack in the past, but I do believe that they have a good vision for the future of Destiny 2. I believe in them, but but I cannot get behind this decision that they made. I think they could have done a lot better, but then again, that's just me. All right, folks, I want to know what you think about this. So leave a comment below, all right? And as always, if you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching.